triglyceride and a cholesterol molecule are examples of the diverse group of molecules collectively called lipids. Lipids contain large regions composed almost entirely of hydrogen and carbon. The carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bonds are nonpolar. These nonpolar regions make lipids insoluble in water. After oil and water are agitated together, they soon separate into two non-mixing layers. The nonpolar oil molecules are hydrophobic or water-fearing. Triglycerides, which are oils or fats, are part of one major class of lipids. A triglyceride consists of three molecules of fatty acids that are joined to a glycerol molecule. In creating the triglyceride, three water molecules are removed. Triglycerides contain a large amount of energy and are important energy storage in food molecules. A critical factor in determining whether a triglyceride is solid or liquid at room temperature is the presence of double bonds in the long hydrocarbon chains. A hydrocarbon chain with double bonds is considered unsaturated. That is, it's not bonded to as many hydrogen atoms as possible. The other two chains in this example are saturated, meaning they're fully loaded with hydrogen atoms and have no double bonds between their carbon atoms. Double bonds kink the chains and prevent them from packing tightly together. This kinked triglyceride is liquid at room temperature, that is, it is an oil. If hydrogen atoms are added, the chains straighten out as the double bonds between the carbon atoms are converted to single bonds. When the chains straighten out, they can pack closely together with others and are more likely to be solid at room temperature, that is, the triglyceride is a fat. Here we will modify an oil molecule, remove one of its hydrocarbon chains, and replace it with a hydrophilic group. This molecule, with its phosphate-containing hydrophilic head group, is a phospholipid. Phospholipids form an important class of lipids. When phospholipids are mixed with oil and water, they migrate to the interface of these liquids, with their hydrophilic heads interacting with water and their hydrophobic tails interacting with the oil. In cells, phospholipids form a bilayer, with their tails pointing toward each other and their heads interacting with the watery environment. Phospholipid bilayers form the basic structure of cellular membranes. The membranes of animals contain another type of lipid molecule called cholesterol, which is a steroid. Steroids make up the third class of lipids and include the hormones estrogen and testosterone. Steroids have a rigid four-ring structure with various protruding functional groups. Cholesterol is hydrophobic except for a hydroxyl or OH group at one end. This hydrophilic group interacts with the hydrophilic head groups of the phospholipids, while the remainder of the molecule interacts with the hydrocarbon chains. Cholesterol in the membrane helps keep saturated hydrocarbon chains from packing closely together, promoting membrane fluidity.